Hey, welcome. Welcome to uh, another hike. I'm Darren, that's Natal. We're hiking and uh, we're glad you can join us. All right, Tal, how are you doing? Fresh air. It's definitely one of those days where uh, it was a little bit tough. It was tough to get motivated. I just haven't been sleeping. Yeah, I was up, me up. Today I was up at 3.30, couldn't really go back to bed. <laughs> so, a little train wreckage now. Even the hike's a little bit later than we would normally do in the day, but uh, it's actually nice, the sun's coming out. Yeah, stretched it out. But yeah, I don't know what uh, what's going on there. Ooh, it looks stormy over there though. Are you timing yourself here? Wow. Tell was mentioning that uh, Roz asked her. Uh, and for those that don't know, Roz is a friend. She's a fitness machine. And uh, she asked us, you guys always look pain on those hills. Doesn't it ever get easier? And uh, yeah, it totally does. We've increased our time, but it's still a little bit of a butt kicker for us old folks. Also, Teresa, you mentioned uh, you're gonna try the downhill hiking tip to add a little bit more umph and uh, be careful but please either film yourself or have somebody film the first one and please send it <sighs> nice work what's your time? oh I can't talk 4 minutes 5 seconds ok so tomorrow we have to beat that Oh Lord. And there has been progression. Yes. Uh, when we first did the hill, uh, I'm pretty sure I was like 13 minutes something, sucking wind and I might have had a little bit of a wheeze. Uh, but as the climbs went on, now we're at four minutes. Uh, so I have more tips for when you're on the steep incline, is you can't stop. You got to keep your body forward and you just got to keep climbing. People also think or we're questioning whether or not are we going to do this hike in the winter oh. and uh, what happens then yes. and uh, we do do this hike in the winter yes so we've been doing this hike for probably two years or close to it yeah almost two years and uh it was close to every day as we could when there wasn't jobs and travel and yeah. stuff in there after school sports for children yeah so obviously uh right now there's a little bit more time to to hike and uh we try to do it every day if we can but there's gonna be days where it's not gonna happen. But at the moment, we happen to be on about a uh, 45 day plus streak. Streak. Which uh, is good. Yeah. One of the things with doing a daily hiking show is the amount of footage. And uh, obviously that's seven episodes a week. Where, how do you keep this stuff? So lately it's been a little bit of a, a mishmash. I've been putting it on. Started on stories. Started just on Instagram stories, then I pieced the stories together, went to IGTV, then we're like, oh. a couple of friends, especially GJ was like, dude, widescreen, like what? What are you doing? And I'm like, no. Nah. But then I'm like, yeah. But today, um, I when I got up at 3.30, mm -hmm. I made us a hiking Facebook page, which is now linked on the profile of our Instagram account. So I kind of still think of our Instagram account as our home base. Kinda, maybe, for, for today. Yeah, and, uh, home base for publishing. The link in the profile now goes to the Facebook page. Not only did we want to keep the episodes in order um, and easily organized, um, it's also a great way to post some of the things that we talk about on the show. Okay, so now that we have the Facebook page, there's a spot where you can post your pictures and share them with us, where you like to hike even if it's to the fridge. Just kidding, I don't want to see you hiking to your fridge. Outside, people. Well, did you see Teresa is going to try the downhill ump challenge? <laughs> don't do it, Teresa. And that's where I encouraged her while we were going up that hill uh -huh. to send us a video of that. <laughs> and that down there, of course, is the iconic Mount Boucherie, a dormant volcano. 60 million years old. Really? Well, I'm sure they're give or take. Give <laughs> also, now this downhill is the hill I truly lost control. That was a laugh or cry moment for me. It was like watching a car accident happen 
and he pulled out. <laughs> Truly out of control on that one. Yeah. Also, in case you're uh, tuning in again and you're wondering, um, I got the yard waste bin all filled up. But we did modify our uh, hiking route today. Yeah, a little bit. Extra viewpoint. But we did circle back. We're coming on to... Metal Meadow. Try to say that a whole bunch of times. It's tough. Metal Meadow. Metal Meadow. Metal Meadow. Metal Meadow. Metal Meadow. Update report for Metal Meadow. The pink flags remain intact. Uh, tell. Yes. Let's demonstrate two different techniques of um, hiking down inclines. Okay. All right, the first step is to go up this hill. And again, probably hard to tell the incline on uh, camera, but it's decent. I mean, it's not massive, but uh, I think for uh, these purposes, it's going to work just fine. Slow and steady. Looks good. Look how she's leaning into it as she goes down with that side step. Just incredible, incredible technique. I usually try and find bigger rocks to land on. Like to absorb the... To give me a stopping point to slow down. Okay, that was good. I yeah. mean, that was nice. Go, Darren. I feel like he's wearing camouflage. He's almost blending in like a deer. Okay, here's Darren. Complete opposite to my style. Oh my god, this is giving me a heart attack. There's no stopping and there's dust flying. And he can't even stop. Okay, stop! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mild. It was, it was mildly out of control, but I felt, I felt I had it. I needed a long way to stop to come down, though. As you can see, hiking has many, many different techniques. Um, I feel like you overdid it. Oh, hamstrings fine. <laughs> Ask Toro. That's important. No, no. Usually it'll go now. <laughs> um, but you know, here's how I look at it. Um, if you're in a four-wheel drive car and you need to go downhill, you've got to keep the wheels straight. You got to keep both tires straight down, pointed down. No matter how fast you go, you have to ride that out because eventually you're going to level out and it's going to stop like I did today. Or you fall over a cliff and that's it. Rock. Roll. Just for some photographers out there. I'm using a GH5 to film these now, and uh, the autofocus is truly as terrible as people say it is. It causes a lot of stress. Oh, I dream of being able to break this camera. Side note, um, I have a GH5 for sale. Hi. I'm good, how are you doing? Good, thank you. New walking stick? Yeah, we are safe. Six feet away, people! It doesn't feel as secure as my other one. It's important to note that no trees were harmed during that uh, episode. No, that was already fallen. We must seek shelter! <laughs> to the dump trucks! Alright, we've just taken cover underneath a very large dump truck. I feel like we should just hunker down. Maybe make a shelter. A lean-to. The storm of the century, I think, just opened up here. <laughs> Was that dramatic? Very dramatic. Uh, how many? How far do you think we are from home right now? Half a kilometer. It's close. Do you think we can... Should we run it? Yep. Okay. Man, guys, if, if we don't make this... Um, you will never see this footage. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. You go first. It. Go! Me? All right, tell that's gonna be an episode. That's it. That's it, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Peace out. All right, the camera's off. That was a ridiculous amount of running. <laughs> like you overdid it. All oh my gosh. I sure could use a tube steak from 7-Eleven. One more hill. Okay. Well, show, show, no so, choice. you go. Just naturally falls back into her technique. But we'll take care of that. Ah!